Alright, welcome back to your 10th C++ tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be talking about if-else statements. So this is just copied from the last tutorial, number 9, if -el or if statements. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to do a little modification to this. So as you can tell right here, this if, this, ah, this if statement, tongue twister, this if statement is grouped and it's one thing, and then this if statement is something else, okay? Basically, it'll run through this. If it's not true, it skips over top of it. Well, we want to be a little more efficient with this. Okay, so let's say basically what the if-else statement does is it says if a certain condition is true, then do all of this stuff in between the curly braces. And now what we're going to add to it is we're going to write else. Okay, and that's a reserved word, else. And then we're going to say if Susie age is less than or equal to 50 and we're going to create more curly braces okay and what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this line into here so now we can just totally delete that out and so now um, I'll go ahead and leave it like this okay just so it's well you know what I'll leave it like this so you guys can tell that it's together well yeah, that's fine. Okay, so basically what this does is it says if Susie age is greater than 50, it'll output Susie is old. Else, if Susie's age is less than 50, Susie is young and fabulous. And technically, we can actually delete this less than or equal to 50 because... Um, well, you know what, for right now, let me let me go ahead and just leave that in there. And so basically what it does is it does a check in greater than 50, and if that's false, then it moves on and it checks the else condition, okay? So if the if statement is true, then it'll run through this, and then it'll check the next condition. If it's false, it'll skip that condition, and then it'll run to the next, okay? So now let's go ahead and compile and run this. And she's 24 is what we have it. So she is young and fabulous. So what it did is, once again, it tried to run through, and she's not older than 50. So it it didn't even it didn't even try to compute or it didn't even try to output this to the screen. So technically, what I was saying earlier, I was getting a little ahead of myself. If she's not older than 50, then she must be under 50, or 50, she must be either 50 or younger. So we can actually take this out because that's a little redundant. That's kind of like saying. If the tree has apples, you can pick apples from the tree. You know, it's kind of like you're talking in circles. So, we can just leave it like this. However, you can't have an if, there's no reason because we're not comparing anything, if statement. So, basically, let me try to explain this clear for you guys. She's not older than 50, then it's going to kick down to here. Well, we don't even need an if statement because there's nothing else to evaluate. Because if she's not older than 50, then she's automatically less than 50. It's just basic logic. So we don't even need to have an if statement. Let's go ahead and run this. And once again, she's 24. Okay, you can see right here. Susie is young and fabulous. Okay. So, say we want to change her age to 60. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and compile and run this. And it says Susie is old. So basically what happens is it says, is the age greater than 60? Yep, that's true. So let me do that, and now let me end, okay? Basically with an if statement, you're, you're only looking for a certain thing. So it's not going to do, it's not going to have a start point and then finish all the other statements. It's just going to do one statement, and then it's going to be done. So, then what we can do now is, I'm trying to think, okay. So say we want to say Susie is, she is a senior. We're going to be a little more polite, okay? And now say right here we're going to say, if Susie's age is, let's say it's greater than 30, okay? Actually, you know what? Let's say 40, and let's change this to 60. Okay? So, if it's over 60, then Susie is a senior. Okay? 
if Susie is older than 40 and under 60. Okay, that under 60 is implied because if it's not over 60 here and it goes into the next statement, it's automatically assumed that it's less than 60. So this is kind of like saying she's over 40 and less than 60. But if you want to double check and make sure, you can actually use the two ampersands, which mean and. Okay, so you'd say and, and then you can say Susie age is, oops, less than 60. Or actually, let's say less than or equal 60. You know what? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now that's the reason you need two. I don't know why. That's just what C++ says. You need to have two, okay? So now let's add another statement. Well, let's change this first. Susie, let's say... She is over the hill, okay? Now let's add, you know what? I forgot my if statement because we're evaluating something, so you need the if. So now let's just have an else statement. You know what? Just to separate it a little better, let's separate all of this stuff down, okay? Okay, now really quick, the reason why you don't tab this out is because it doesn't run everything it runs either this or it goes down and it runs this or it runs this okay the reason why you tab this is out this out is because if it runs this this automatically is ran also okay so right here let's have else and let's go ahead and put our brackets tab out because this will be kind of like a last resort if you don't have any if statements, it kind of catches all other possibilities. So let's say see how Susie is young and 